Last season, uh, you and I spoke about how this series is reality reshaped your mm -hmm. own reality. You mm -hmm. said it helped you understand the scope of it all and how you are one human among a large community and how, how scary of a thought that is. Mm -hmm. Because the, the richness of this series continues to expand and there are new characters with different perspectives that Salvor bounces off of, mm -hmm. would you say that your reality has shifted e even further with this new season? Yeah, for sure. I mean, we've got you know, at least 10 new characters this season who play really pivotal roles. And so the, the core cast was already expanded and yet everyone seems to feel so grounded and so connected to their, their tiny little part that they've got in this huge story. You know, we've mm -hmm. all, it, but it just feels like the, the most important thing that I think affected the, like, the reality of it all was that we all were equally as focused on our parts. And um, that's, mm. that's really cool. Like it means it's gonna be a good show, you know? <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. Be because there's just so many things to discuss mm. uh, with this world because it feels so lived in. Like it's, it's not just like one planet. There's mm. multiple places, different time periods. They have different ways they operate and it just kind of blows my mind. And so I can't imagine what a casual conversation you might have with someone when talking about this show because mm. I feel like once you get started, you can't stop. And there's gotta be certain areas that you're most eager to discuss. So mm. is there particular areas like when you're discussing mm. the story and you're discussing your character that you're like, Hang on a minute. I just got to hang in this area for a minute and we got to talk about this. Yeah, I mean, there definitely are. And um, I, for me, I like I like a lot of the stuff that happens, you know, between the scenes so that as an actor, the things that I kind of add in to really make it feel alive mm -hmm. from, from this shot to that shot and like walking from this place to that place and what happens in between. We have lots of conversations like that. And I think people are really interested to hear that kind of thing. Um, like, you know, what just happened before this scene? And we discuss it, but no one never finds out because it's just for us to know as actors um, but it's nice to kind of delve into that when I'm talking about it with people to delve into like the the, the, the things that come out of conversation that happen on set it's really cool I imagine because when 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 watching this show so much of it depends on the language of the characters mm. there's a lot of scenes where y'all are just having very philosophical question, uh, uh, conversations and that sort of thing is my cup of tea I love mm. that sort of thing and mm. so I can only imagine that you're probably having discussions behind the scene to kind of develop a history mm -hmm. uh, between the characters, even if it's a new relationship such yeah. as Salvor and, and Gail this season. Yeah, uh, for sure. For sure, there's always some kind of, you know, um, subtext or communication happening that 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 is much deeper than um, you know you can you can find on a page or you can find like that. Luckily, on this show, we're provided with a script that has so much in it already. So we've got all of these details, and and you know Lou and I, for instance, can look at each other and go, "Oh, I know exactly what you mean," without even saying a word. Mm -hmm. And so we brought that into our characters. Um, and the show itself, you know, um, encouraged us to talk about different things. It really um, uh, kind of stimulated the conversation and so Jared Lou and I would be having conversations about like philosophy and and maths mm. and the future and the past and all these things while we're just you know having our coffee um waiting to start the day um it, it, yeah and hopefully it same thing happens with the viewers who watch it oh it absolutely yeah, does I think so. Spe I speaking so. of the language <laughs> um, there's there's a line i'm gonna butcher it but i think it's something that that you say at some point without providing uh any details there that may inform something to the audience that they may not know already um he, you say uh yeah he kissed me f you for that and so <laughs> i i just laughed at your delivery of that line and so Thanks. i'm just curious about navigating the language of the show because there are times where it's so like shakespearean there's a lot mm. to think about and then there are times where it could be just uh, an unexpected uh, verbal punch mm -hmm. like that. It's you know what I think the key to it is is listening actually because the the writers have given every character a, a different way of speaking. Everyone's got their own vocabulary and everyone comes from a different place. So naturally mm. we have different ways of going about sentences. And so the important thing that um, that we had to do on set was really listen to each other. You know you have characters who have really really long kind of 
paragraphs and things that they have to say that are really important and, and affect the story. And I, Leah, had to really listen in order to just process the information, but also to be able to respond as Salvor would. Um, and, you know, there are moments, of course, where, you know, sometimes Salvor says things that are a bit more funny or different characters kind of surprise us. And that's always fun. But you have to have, you have, to have something set. Uh, you have to have a foundation of vocabulary in order to surprise, you know? Right, um, right, right, right. And we do, okay. so it's great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So when uh, you brought up about having conversations with Jared, what, mm. I don't know if this probably may have not been one, but this is one that I kind of had after mm. watching this new season, is thinking about this concept of Harry's consciousness living on uh, way past his expiration date. Mm. Is there anyone in history such as like Shakespeare or an artist whose consciousness that you would be most interested to know, mm. oh, I wonder how they would flow throughout time mm. and how they would react to certain things that are going on in their world. I think, you know what, it's funny, as you were speaking, I was thinking about, and I'm not like, I guess I am into science. I am into science, I like science. But someone like Einstein, I think would be really interesting mm. to see how he'd respond to all of the things that we're discovering now. You know, yeah. and and if his if he was able to discover those things in his time, um, with the limited stuff that he had compared to what we have now, can you imagine what he would be able to do with the things that we've got if he had an understanding of the technology? Like that would be insane. Um, so I'd be really intrigued to see what he thought of um, what's going on and to see him watch the development and the you know of our progress. Yeah, um, I guess uh, just like this show, we got to be kind of careful what we uh, wish for. True. Because who knows with this AI technology, with <laughs> like just completely diving into journals <laughs> or texts by some of these uh, people who we celebrate mm -hmm. after they've long passed, and maybe they might adapt their thinking. I have no idea. <laughs> that, that's we'll about. see. We'll see what happens, eh? <laughs> yeah. yeah.